Jesus is the promised Messiah for the Jews alone. The wording of the above verses are very clear. The promise was given 1450 years before Jesus was born. Deuteronomy 1850 to 19 contains this promise. Moses received this promise and wrote it. Moses was a Jew and not an Arab. Jesus was never a promised Messiah for the Arabs. Islam was non-existent when Jesus walked on the earth. Muhammad was an Arab. There is absolutely no correlation between the above promised Messiah of Jews and the Arabs, Muslims, Muhammad. When Jesus came to earth, the whole population was expecting him, Jews and Gentiles alike. Jesus fulfilled all the prophecies said about him over hundreds of years. There was no question of another Messiah coming to earth and there is no question of God dying on the cross again. The most important sign of the Messiah was that he would die for the sinners and resurrect. Isaiah 53, claiming that Muhammad was the last prophet, Messiah was a blatant lie. But the people of Islam believe in this devil's lie. Let's read it. Whatever devil has told, Muslims are believing till now. So now the time has come. Deuteronomy 18, 18 and 19. This was written in 1400 BC. I will rise up for them, a prophet like you, from among their brethren, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. Read it again. This was spoken by God and written by Moses. I will, God says, I will rise up for them, a prophet like you, Moses, from among their brethren, from among the Jews, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. This, this, this was about the promised Messiah, Jesus, 1400 BC, 2000 years before Muhammad was born. And it shall be that whoever will not hear my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him. That means I will kill him. I will kill him. The words given by Jesus are the words of God and everybody, that means every Jewish person was expected to obey and any Jewish person disobeying will be killed. That was the prophecy of 1400 BC. Now, Peter, Peter, Apostle Peter, another Jewish person, he clarifies, Acts 3.22, For Moses truly said to the fathers, the Lord your God will rise up for you, a prophet like me, from your brethren. Him you shall hear in all things, whatever he says to you. And it shall be that every soul who will not hear that prophet shall be utterly destroyed from among the people. Everybody, this is directly, this was directly given to the people of the Jews, people of Israel. Any Israelite man or a Jewish person refusing to obey the spoken words of Jesus will be utterly destroyed. This was the prophecy, prophecy and this has happened. This has happened. In AD 70, 10 lakh Jewish people were killed in the city of Jerusalem and 600, 6 million Jews were killed by the Nazi, Nazi Hitler based on this verse. And the arrival of Jesus was known to everyone. The woman, this is a Samaritan woman. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. When she said, Jesus said, I am. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you, I am he. I am the Messiah. Jesus revealed it to this simple woman. John 7, 31. And many other people believed in him and said, when the Christ comes, will he do more signs than this, which this man has done? They were wondering, is he the Messiah? But... Uh, the, the officers were not ready to confirm. They knew. The Bible says, the word of God says, they knew, but they kept their mouth mum. John 11, 27, Martha Maria, she said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God who is to come into the world. And the Samaritans, then they said to the Samaritan woman, Now we believe not because of what you said, for we ourselves heard him and we know this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. They said he is the Christ, the Savior of the world. Samaritans, the outsiders said very clearly. So, the arrival of Jesus was, uh, was uh, uh, expected at that time by all the people. And Jesus came and fulfilled all that, fulfilled all the prophecies. Matthew 16, 15, he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Is quizzing the, he is quizzing his own Apostles, Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. It is all there in the Bible. It was written long ago and when Muhammad was there, when Muhammad was born, it was all there. 
Muhammad had a copy of the Gospel of Jesus, the New Testament, Muhammad had the Old Testament and he had the translators. He did the evil thing, the most evil thing. 